In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and be worthy of magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Today the Church remembers Edmund, King of, and Martyr. He was King of the East Angles until 870 AD. The Anglo-Saxons have generally settled in the east of this country following the Roman withdrawal and with the work of people like Augustine and Paulinus had become Christians. They had settled into becoming agricultural and not warlike. Edmund succeeded in repulsing an invasion of the Danes, but for the second time they came with greater forces. They overcame Edmund's forces, and Edmund was forced to submit. However, he refused to accept the conditions laid upon his Christian faith, and so he was killed. He was used for archery practice and then had his head it is for this reason that his legend reaches down to today, because he stood for his Lord and because he refused, in the face of being able to keep his earthly possessions and wealth, he still refused to deny his Lord. Today martyrdom comes in all sorts of different forms, and in each of our lives there is a sort of martyrdom because there will have been things that we have turned our backs on because of our faith. Let us pray for all who struggle with the difference between faith and non-faith, all who struggle to accept the privations which faith can sometimes impose on us, all who are struggling to believe despite the incentives not to believe, and with the intercession of Edmund, King and Martyr, and all the other martyrs who have gone before, let us accept whatever life brings, so that we can live for the name of Jesus. For the times when we have failed in that and for all our sins, let us ask God's forgiveness. sisters in Christ. As we gather at the Lord's table, we must recall the promises and warnings given to us in the Scriptures. Let us therefore examine ourselves and repent of our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who in his great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with heartfelt repentance and true faith turn to him, have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Amen. 
eternal God, whose servant Edmund kept faith to the end both with you and with his people, and glorified you by his death, grant us such steadfastness of faith that with the noble army of martyrs we may come to enjoy the fullness of the resurrection life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. The voice that I had heard from heaven spoke to me again, saying, Go, take the scroll that is open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and told him to give me the little scroll, and he said to me, Take it and eat. It will be bitter to your stomach, but sweet as honey in your mouth. So I took the little scroll from the hand of the angel and ate it. It was sweet as honey in my mouth, but when I had eaten it, my stomach was made bitter. Then they said to me, You must prophesy again about many peoples and nations and languages and kings. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. You have dealt graciously with your servant according to your word, O Lord. O oh, teach me true understanding and knowledge, for I have trusted in your commandments. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are gracious and do good. O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is dear, dearer to me than a hoard of gold and silver. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling things there. And he said, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Every day he was teaching in the temple. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him, but they did not find anything they could do, for all the people were spellbound by what they heard. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. In the Diocese of Derby, we are asked to pray today for the parish of St. Wilfrid, Barrow on Trent. And in the Anglican Communion cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of San Diego in the Episcopal Church of the United States and for the Diocese of Durham. We remember before God all who need to see the example of bravery and integrity of Edmund the King, those who are in places of responsibility, those who lead nations. We pray today especially for Her Majesty the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh on their 73rd wedding anniversary. We pray for nations where leadership is at a premium for people who are looking for integrity in their leaders and finding none.
pray too for the Church of England as it seeks discernment on so many different ma matters that are of concern to the people of this nation. We thank God for the prayerfulness shown by the daily prayer during this lockdown. And we pray that God may not only speak through that prayerfulness, but also be heard. As we remember the sick, we pray by name for Ray Hearn, Tom Pierce, for members of the Wolf Kid family, for Jane Hostin, Sheila Laverick, John Robinson, Laura, Colin Parnell, Margaret, Robin Glasson, Kenneth Hughes, Paul Taylor, Jane Stretton, Michael Catton, Carol Kingham, John Herring, Joel Lidgate, Hugh Franklin, Teddy, Ian McKenzie, Patricia Mitchell, David Staves, Sue Hastings, Jean Maiden, and Jane Jackson. And as we remember those who have gone before us in faith, we pray for Paul William Henry Curtis, whose year's mind occurs today. And among the recently departed, we pray for Kenneth Parker, for Howard Weaver, and for Ambrose Walsh priest. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith. Strengthen Libby, our Bishop, and all your Church in the service of Christ, that those who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless and guide Elizabeth, our Queen. Give wisdom to all in authority, and direct this and every nation in the ways of justice and of peace, that we may honour one another and seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give grace to us, our families and friends, and to all our neighbours, that we may serve Christ in one another, and love as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer, in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles, and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ. According to your promises, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Edmund, King and Martyr, and of all your saints, we commend ourselves and the whole creation to your unfailing love, as we say, Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. God is love, and those who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you.
the great ones scattered in the fields, and the great ones dispersed on the hillside, are now reunited on this table in bread and wine. So, Lord, may your whole church soon be gathered together from the corners of the earth into your kingdom. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. From the beginning you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, the crown of all creation. You give us breath and speech, that with angels and archangels and all the powers of heaven, we may find a voice to sing your praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord holy. God of power and might, heaven and holy. earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is, is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful the work of your hands, O Lord. As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embrace the people as your own. When they turned away and rebelled, your love remained steadfast. From them you raised up Jesus, our Saviour, born of Mary, to be the living bread in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends, and taking bread, he gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance. The end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory, and we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us the body, and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ, and build us into a living temple to your glory. Remember, Lord, your church in every land. Reveal her unity, guard her faith, and preserve her in peace. Bring us to the last with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Edmund, King and Martyr, and all the saints, to the vision of that eternal splendour for which you have created us, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, with whom, and in whom, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise, blessing and, and honour and, and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done upon earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. <coughs> but we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, love of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us peace. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord for the glory of God the Father. We do not presume to come to this your table, mercy of the Lord, trusting in our, in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs and be your table, but you are the same Lord whose nature is always in our mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen.
Keep, O oh Lord, your church with your perpetual mercy. And because without you our human frailty cannot but fall, keep us ever by your help from all things hurtful, and lead us to all things profitable to our salvation, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and the blessing and the love of the Lord the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go forth in peace, in the name of Christ. Amen.